Let's pray I make it out, y'all. I just heard a ton of commotion around this corner. It sounded huge, like a freaking bear or something. Now I'm afraid to walk down there. I hope I make it out alive, y'all. <laughs> Good morning world. It's your boy Major Influence and we're back today with a special episode. We're here in San Bernardino County this morning and we're about to hike the infamous Mount San Antonio, more commonly known as Mount Baldy. This is definitely a bucket list hike for sure. The summit of Mount Baldy is the tallest peak in all of Los Angeles County, measuring in at over 10,000 feet. Today we're going to be taking a route to the Baldy Notch, then going to go across Devil's Backbone and then continue on to Mount Baldy Summit. This hike is 11 total miles and it's supposed to be anywhere from 5 through 7 hours. Man, let's see how this goes.
my god finally made it you guys it's 320 and my god this hike to the summit has been brutal this has been intense this hike is rated hard on the all trails app and man it needs to be extra extra hard this is insanely difficult it's a non-stop climb to the summit some areas are extremely steep where you absolutely need trekking poles i completely underestimated this hike i knew it was going to be difficult but man whew, I'm just at a loss of words. Some mistakes that I made prior to beginning this hike. I did not wear thick enough socks. I just wore standard Nike socks when I should have wore thicker ones because the heels of my feet are at this point probably bleeding. Probably will rip off when I pull my sock off. Second mistake, I did not eat nowhere near enough before beginning this hike. I just had a cup of oats with protein in it. Obviously that's laughable. That's a joke. I should have had a lot more a full course breakfast prior to coming and beginning this hike. I just had the cup of oats with the protein and an energy drink i thought that would suffice i did have a bag of peanuts several hours ago but that's not nearly enough i should have had a full course meal plus some and i didn't bring enough water i found myself rationing water in the last couple hours or so right now i'm down to my last half bottle of water i believe i brought four bottles i should have brought shit probably 10 this hike back down is going to be brutal at several points throughout the course of reaching the summit i thought about quitting and turning around i would say not an exaggeration either probably Probably 10 different times I thought about turning around because the steepness was just never ending and it was just incredibly difficult and in addition to those 10 times of wanting to turn around and quit I can't even count the amount of times that I took to rest because it was just steep at some points I was only hiking for a minute and a half before I had to take my next rest so start calling me baby baldy <laughs> after this hike because it's definitely not for the faint definitely not for the weak i'm definitely earning some stripes after this hike right now i'm going to try to as much as i can enjoy some overnight oats that i made last night that i've been saving to eat at the summit i'm hoping that i don't puke this back up on the way down this is all of the food i have left before i reach the mount baldy lodge that serves food until 8 30 so i'm definitely gonna stop by there but even that is very far from this summit so that's gonna be quite a while so yeah i'm gonna enjoy these overnight overnight oats that I made get a little bit more fuel in my system before I head back down it's a race against the sun I'm trying not to catch too much darkness so I'm gonna try to hurry it up you guys <laughs> I just want to check back in now that I am back at the car and I've concluded the hike. I wasn't able to go to the lodge because the route I took back down, I guess it didn't pass by the lodge. When I came off of that route, I was back at the falls that I showed you guys. That's okay. I'm definitely about to go somewhere and get some fast cars. Probably Chipotle. But yeah, would I do this hike again? Now that I've completed it, I came, saw, and conquered it. Would I do this hike again? Um, fuck no. I definitely wouldn't do this hike again, uh, just personally. This is one of those hikes for me where you can check it off your bucket list and never look at it again, at least for me. I know others, you know, may feel differently. Others have hiked this trail to Baldy uh, many times, but uh, major influence, I'm just going to do one and done. <laughs> 
this hike was brutal this hike was excruciating and i won't be doing it again but i'm glad that i was able to finish it and i mainly wanted to check back in because just in case any of the kind people that i met along this hike see this video i want to let you guys know your words definitely encouraged me to complete the hike and reach the summit as i mentioned earlier i thought about quitting this hike uh, many times no exaggeration i would say probably 10 times if not more i contemplated quitting but i met many kind people along the way that encouraged me to finish even when the summit wasn't as close as a lot of them said it was at the moment i met them along the trail i know that was just to keep me motivated and uh, keep me pushing along so i greatly appreciate that i did tell some of them my youtube handle if any one of you guys that i met today see this video i want to thank you very much for the encouragement definitely needed it i'm headed to the nearest chipotle wherever the nearest chipotle is i'm coming i need it i need some fast carbs thank you again for you guys watching the video if you guys made it to the end thank you very much but yeah it's your boy major influence i'm checking out for good this time and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one